Jackson, wake up. Wake up now. Time for school. Oh, keep quiet, Mom. Jackson washed his face and had breakfast with his parents and elder sister, Sophie. Jackson, get me so try the morning post before you come back home. Thanks. Oh, Dad, not again. I'm off to school. Jackson, wait for me. Sophie ran after Jackson to school. Good morning, class. Good morning, Mr. Chow. Uh, Mr. Chow, I don't have my homework with me. Jackson, this is the twentieth time, and let me tell you one thing: you failed the dictation again. Mr. Chow, you made the dictation so difficult. It's not my fault, really, is it? Jackson, you see me at recess. Becky, the class monitress, tried to cheer Jackson up. <laughs> Jackson, are you okay? Shut up! Do I look like I'm okay? Go away, you fat girl! You're really mean. Whatever. On his way home, Jackson walked past the newspaper stand. Jackson, where's my newspaper? Oh, Dad, I'll buy tomorrow. Don't worry. Jackson, I haven't promised you, have I? Sweetheart, that's very rude of you to say that. Say sorry to your dad. Yeah, Jackson. You should apologize to Daddy. You are the most irresponsible person in the world. I hate you all. I don't want school. I don't want Dad and Mom. Suddenly, a beautiful fairy with light blue wings appeared. What did you say? Oh my! A witch! Help! Excuse me. I'm not a witch. I'm a fairy. My name is Twinkle. I'm here to help. I don't want school. I don't want mom and dad. Your wish is granted. The next day, Jackson, wake up, Jackson. I don't see mom and dad. Where are they? <sighs> well, I'm going. I don't want to be late for class. See you at school then. <sighs> Morning, Mr. Chow. I'm a bit late, I know. Good evening, Jackson. Welcome back. It's m uh, it's morning. It's evening. Um, okay. I don't have my homework with me. Good boy, Jackson. I'm impressed. Becky. Yes, Mr. Chow. Why are you sitting so horribly still? Go stand at the back. Class, you have a two-hour recess. After that, let's play Minecraft. Yay! Yay! Get off the computer, Jackson. No way, Mike. I've been on two minutes only, and you ask for this. The big bully punched Jackson in the face. Ouch, Mr. Chow. Mike hurts me. Good boy, Mike. You're really brave. Jackson, you're a troublemaker. Get out of my classroom. Sophie, Sophie, this is bad. Poor Jackson. What happened to you? Did Mr. Chow know? Yes, but he. I have to ask Twinkle for help. Who's Twinkle? Yes, sweetheart. Twinkle, bring our mom and dad back now. I need you to turn the school back to what it was. What do you mean, bring them back? Did this witch make them disappear? Excuse me, I'm a fairy. Sophie, I will explain everything to you later. Listen, children, to turn things back to normal, you would need the magic words. Magic words. You should say please to ask for a favor, say thank you to express gratitude, and say sorry to apologize. Twinkle, please help us fix this. Much better, Jackson. Remember, every little thing counts. Think before you ask and speak. Jackson, my baby boy. Mom, Dad, I missed you. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't be rude. From then on, Jackson started using the magic words. He became well liked by his classmates and teachers. He learned that little things such as saying please and thank you can make such a big difference.